If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, then why not visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial. So as I've said in my other video, we have a new version of BetAngel, BetAngel 147. You can download it from the forum. It's a beta at the moment, which basically means we've been using it for a while and it's in its first public release. So if you do use it, we don't suspect there will be any issues with it please check and make sure. Maybe use it in practice mode while you're getting used to it because sometimes when you're using new features it can be somewhat confusing. Um, anyhow, in the automation we've updated that as well so you'll be pleased to know that um, you can see I'm in Guardian. I've d clicked on create a new rules file uh, for the selected market. We can select what we want to do from here. Um, we're going to place a back bet and you can see in the parameters that that now includes those features that we saw on the other screens. You can place a bet by fixed amount, by liability, by book percentage, and so on. Um, and of course, that means that you can therefore offset uh, it's the way that you would expect, and you can choose ticks or a percentage. So if you want to automate your dobbing, you want to pursue a strategy that relies upon a book percentage or whatever, it can all be done within automation now, as well as manually on your main screen, which is great. But we've also enhanced the um, editor, um, the rules editor for automation, because we've had a lot of requests for people who've got very complex rules and are saying, you know, I don't want to keep on rewriting it every time I want to modify part of the rule or create a variation of that rule. So let's pick on one of the rules that we've got in here, for example, like, um, I don't know, um, let's do back the server here. And, you know, they've only got a couple of rules in here, but if we click on this little button here, um, what you can actually do now is that brings up another automation dialog box. You can select another rule, any one of those rules that you want uh, within there. I'm not suggesting you do exactly what I'm doing here because this is just a demonstration. But you can see that you can actually add rules into the, the, other, the new file that you're creating. So basically I could say, okay, um, add this to the end. And can you see it actually copies what we've got in one file into the new file. So the huge advantage of this, it will massively increase the scope and your ability to create rules and actually take the best bits of other rules that you're using and import them straight into new ones. So it will speed up dramatically um, the new creating new rules and uh, creating derivatives of rules and modifying new elements of stuff and so on and so forth. So yeah, the, the rules editor um, will now allow you to copy elements from different parts of other rules and you can sort of insert it in front or behind of something towards the end of it and so on. So you can do that as many times as you like with different rules. So say you've got um, one particular element of a file that you like, then this will allow you to insert that into a new file really, e really easily. So there's no more needing to click on this, click on that, it's like this drop down option, click on this, do this, do that. You just find the file that you've created already that works beautifully, um, select the, the part of that rules file that you like, and then copy it into a new one. So that should dramatically speed up your productivity when creating a new rule via the automation, and that's in BetAngel version 147.